Today we are going to go and unbox and explore the Chi and Lee iCopy Plus 2.2 repair programmer with extension boards, including the Face ID extension board. First, let's go ahead and look at the boxes. We have the iCopy Plus 2.2. Again, this is the international version. We're going to start with this box first. We'll set this one aside. We'll come back to it. Now, the international version does not come with the built-in battery and it does require an external power supply. Set these out and we'll come back to these. So as you can see, it's a very sleek and easy to fit in your palm programmer. It takes a lightning port to power on and we'll go ahead and plug that in here. And as you can see here, it powers on almost instantly. And I zoom in. So let's start about the different PCB boards. First up is gonna be our display touch board mixed with the vibrator and the baseband logic EEPROM. So this board's kind of a three in one. So you have your display and touch connections over here on the side. And this is for transferring two tone. This is available in models from eight to 11 pro max. You copy the original screen's chip data to a new screen and true tone can be restored under some special situations like with the original screen lost or cannot be read you can use the gn leave repair helper software to restore the true tone you will need a pc for that down here at the bottom you can this is the baseband logic eprom data read and write this is available for iphones 6 to 10s max and will require soldering with a jumping wire and over here is your vibrator and this is available for iPhones 7 to 10. And you would connect the original vibrator to the corresponding connector, read the, read the original and copy the original vibrator's data, and then write into the new vibrator. To move through the screens to get to the different functions, you press the read and write buttons at the same time to cycle through the different screens. To return to home, you just press the on and off switch. Now. I'll show you how to remove this and change it out for the battery connector. So I am going to disconnect the power because I am attached to a wire and it can only reach so far. Now this is a little bit tough to get out. So you just kind of want to lift up with your finger and pull. Fairly easy to snap in just these two connect, uh, these two connectors here and you just push down. Clicks right into place. So we're going to go ahead and power this on and it automatically detects the battery board in place. So we're gonna go ahead and test with the battery and just show you how this works. So it does give you some information for this board. This works with the iPhone 6 to the 14 Pro Max, and it'll allow you to test and transfer battery data. So this can be useful for diagnosing battery issues or after a battery replacement. Here, we have an original iPhone 8 Plus battery. We can see that it has a 33% charge. We can see the capacity that it is set to and some in good information. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect that. We're gonna move on to the next board. And again, just kind of pull up again. It is a little tight, snug. This is the Lightning data cable headset. And this board is basically an authentic authenticity tester. It's a great tool for ver uh, verifying the authenticity of accessories. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. I'm gonna use a different cord here. If you wanna verify the authenticity of a charging cord, plug it in. And then you wanna be on the iCopy Lightning screen and then plug in your cord. And as we can see here, it's original. So these are the boards that are included with the base box of the Chi and Lee iCopy. If you have this extra box, then you also got the fourth board that is available, which is for the Face ID. This is a newer board, and this is to be used with the Face ID flexes, which are not included, um, to activate and recover Face ID data for iPhones 10 to iPhone 14 Pro Max. You may want to also ask your wholesaler in regards to what other parts and flexes you might need to use with this. Inside the box is a AC adapter, and then we also have a nice container here for the PCB board. This is significantly bigger than the other boards. So it does have these nice little feet on it to kind of keep it upright, but it does have these two connectors. So you just snap it in 
And again, this does have its own, requires its own external power. And then this would also require power. And again, this will support up from 10 to 14 Pro Max. This concludes our overview of the uh, Qi Lam Qian Li iCopy Plus 2.2. As you can see, this is a fairly valuable tool for various iPhone repairs, tasks, providing comprehensive solutions. I do recommend that you check with your wholesaler parts vendor for more information on this device and when best to use it. Also check with your manager and your supervisor as well. Thank you for watching this training video.